Welcome to ECLIMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed a couple all the anti parallel forces. We said these are forces which are equal but opposite. Now, as much as couples are very important in a relationship or in a family, also couples in physics studies forces, they are very important. And that's what we're going to discuss in this lesson the application of anti parallel forces. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe at least five applications of a couple or anti-parallel forces. So the first application of a couple is in the steering wheel of a car, and the cars are made to turn around corners by exerting two equal and opposite forces, which act tangentially to a steering wheel. Like in this case, if you have a styling wheel or you are in a car and you are handling a styling wheel, then if you want it to turn on the left hand side, you will move your hand so that one force is created up and then another force is created down. In this case, this styling wheel will turn uh, in a clockwise direction. Then if you want it to turn in a clockwise direction, then one hand will cause a force down on the left side of the styling wheel and then another force will cause uh, it to turn on the right side up. So in this case, if you look uh, well in this case, there will be a couple, two forces which are acting in opposite direction, like you can see on the screen. So in this case, a sterling wheel is preferred at this point O here at the middle, and it rotates about O in a clockwise or anticlockwise side. Then the two forces form anticlockwise or antiparallel forces at O, and if you want to get the moment which is created in this case, if you know the distance or the diameter of this steering wheel from this point to this point, then you can multiply one of the forces, F times the diameter of the steering wheel, and what you will get is the moment in terms of Newton, per Newton meter. So in this case, it allows a car to turn, to change direction. If you want to change it in the right side or in the, right, in the clockwise direction, you can change the car movement. And if you want to change it in the anticlockwise direction, you can change by applying equal and opposite forces on the steering wheel. So another application of a couple is in the turning off or even turning on of a tap water. So when you are turning on all of a tap water, you are using anti-parallel forces or what we call a couple. Like in this case, if a tap water has a pivot at the middle here, let's call it point O, then for you to turn it on, then you have to apply one force here to move down, then the other force move up. Now, if you have the distance between these two forces, then you can even calculate the moment. If you know the distance and you know one of the forces, because these two forces must be equal. If you know one of the forces and the distance between them, then you can calculate the moment which is created by this couple. So in this case, you can also turn it off, like in the second diagram. You make this one side now to move up and then the other side to move down. Like when you are turning it off, you exert a, an, you exert a force which opposes the water pressure inside. And when this water pressure inside is being opposes, opposed, it will increase until it balances with the water pressure. And in that case, the tap will shut or in, in short, the water will stop coming out of the tap. And when you want to turn it on, then you will be pulling or changing the direction, one force down, another one force up. And in that process, the water pressure from inside will be high and therefore it will twist then, then the valve and then it will move out of the tap. Then another application of this uh, couple is in cycling. Remember when you are cycling a bicycle, one leg is moving up, the other one is moving down. And in that process, you are causing a turning effect. And in that case, specifically a couple, because the force you use to pedal should be equal for both legs. This also applies in uh, riding a seesaw or when you are using a seesaw. In this case, like in this case, if you have a, one kid here and another one here, when this one is moving down, the other one is moving up with the same force. So if you know the distance between these two forces, you can calculate a couple which is created by this seesaw. And when this one also want to move down, the one who is up, 
if they want to move down, they will exert a force. This one will move up with the same equal force F. So this one is also a good application of a couple. Another one is when you are tightening a nut using a spanner. And when you are tightening a nut using a spanner, you also apply what you call a couple. In this case, when you put a spanner inside this, this nut, then if you cause a force here, this force F, as you can see it on the screen, then this spanner or this panel on this right side will be moving up here with the same force. So your hand will be pushing this spanner here down, but this spanner on this side will be moving up in opposite direction and it will be moving with the same force. So if you know the distance between them here and you know one of the forces, then you can calculate a total moment of this spanner as one of the forces, that is F times the distance between them, and you will get your moment in terms of Newton meter. So also this spanner applies the uh, anti-parallel forces idea. Like in this case, the force you exert on the spanner opposes the force of friction between the nut and the bolt. So as you turn the spanner, the nut becomes tighter. And if you want to open it, then you are going to change the direction of that force. You will be moving up on this side, and then this side will be automatically moving down with the same force. And in the process, it will become less tight, and then you are going to open that uh, nut. So another case is a bicycle handlers. Bicycle handlers also uses the idea of couple to turn. If you want to change direction like you want your bike to turn in a clockwise direction like that. Then you are, what you're going to do, you will adjust this uh, side or handler on the left to move up with a force F. Automatically, the, the handle on the right hand side will move down with the same force F. So if you know the distance between these uh, two handlers, then you can be able to calculate moment as moment as one of the force times the distance between the handlers. Again, if you want it to turn in an anti-clockwise direction like this, then you are going to change now the direction of the force. On the left hand side, the, the, the handler will move down with a force F, and then on the right hand side, it will move up by a force F. In this case also, if you know the distance between them, you can be able to calculate the moment for this uh, force or for this couple. Again, another important to note here, if now you decrease the distance, if you hold this bike at this point here, if you hold this bike at this point here, remember now the distance between them will be small. And since, uh, this, since this force or this moment is calculated as force times the distance, if the distance is large, we said the moment will be large. So here, if you decrease this distance between where you are applying your force, it means you will use a lot of force for you to change the direction of this bike. And that one now, Will, be, will make your work harder. So when you have a bike which has uh, handlers which are very far away from each other, in that case, it will be very easy for you to turn your bike and that work will be very easy since a couple in this case will be distance times the force. So when you have a bike with a very large distance between them, between these two handlers, you will require a very small force to change the direction of this bike. So that will mark the end of our lesson today and the end of our topic, turning effect of a force. I hope it was very interesting. Now in the next topic, we'll discuss almost the same topic with the same ideas, that is equilibrium and center of gravity. And we are going to realize that most of the things we are going to borrow from this topic, especially the principle of moment and couple.